hi welcome now i'm going to show you how to use uh, some product function as uh, we look up okay in my earlier videos you might have seen uh, uh, some product function as uh, uh, some some if function and as well as uh, some product function as count if function and so on okay now uh, this is another interesting video that it shows uh, how to use uh, some product function in uh, as uh, we look a function the same kind of functionality okay so now uh, what i have in my data is a uh, product which is the a uh, set of products in a uh, store and a uh, stock okay so um, i want to write uh, we look up to find out what is the uh, stock for a particular product if, uh, for a given product okay for example i have uh, uh, given you the alice mutton the given product okay then i need the stock okay so how to write down the um, um, we look up for a product a particular given product how to look it up in the in the data the source data and uh, 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 bring out uh, what is the uh, respective number for stock okay let's do it we lookup okay what is the lookup array lookup array is nothing but the whole set of the data okay of uh, about 25 items okay this is my lookup array uh, sorry sorry what is the lookup uh, look up value first then the array comes okay what is the look up value it is the product which uh, this is the given product i want to look it up and where do i want to look it up in the table array which is the full set of the source data okay then uh, what is the column to return i want to return the stock which is nothing but obviously the second column in the second column in the we look up so two and uh, whether i want to do an approximate match or exact match i want to look it up exactly the alice matter exactly the product stated here okay so i want to look it up the exact match which is false okay which is the name of the lookup okay so i just enter you can see is a triple seven which is the alice mutton stock okay so this is the way you do the we look up um, you can if you want to understand the we look up you can uh, see my earlier videos on we look up also okay so instead of uh, giving the product i'm just uh, making the list of product i want to select it from the list box okay so how can i do it in the list box go to data go to data validation then select it from the list box then the source is source for the list box is this 25 values this is the list of products then ok then you have uh, the list box stated here according to the selection is shows you the stock long life tofu it not one okay this is uh, using the vf uh, function now i want the same result from some product how to do that okay i put the name here Alice Mutton, some name for uh, for the starting point. The some product. Okay, I want to check. Uh, okay, I want to check a set 
this is some product function accepts arrays as the arguments okay but uh, what uh, the interesting part of some product is uh, the array could be a condition also if it is a condition it will uh, check it is true or false okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to send uh, the product as false okay so what uh, i what i want is the stock okay so i want the set of stock but um, in the stock i want to make uh, it has to be the alice martin stock okay so what i do i just uh, check the products first okay whether it is equal to the the given product so what happens here is when you check whether it is the given product it is going to be the true or false values of for alice martin is it equal to alice martin because d10 is alice martin yes so it will become uh, true uh, it is equal to any seed syrup no so it will become false so it is going to be the whole array is changed it to true or false okay so this true or false we cannot use just the true or false with the uh, stock here so what i am doing here is uh, i change the true or false to zero and ones so which is by uh, introducing two unary operators it will change true or false into zero and ones okay so now you product uh, this is a zero and ones only for alice mutton it is one but for the other items it is zero because this condition is false okay only for alice mutton it is true so it is one so i change this one to zero and ones now i product that one with the stock so the product is only for alice mutton it will become the stock become uh, one into triple seven it will become uh, the number of stock but uh, for other items it is multiplying that one with the zero so it will become zero so if you add everything the sum part you will get only the stock of uh, alice mutton you see so uh, probably i will put it here and uh, show you one more time what i am doing what i am doing is i get the array of this okay i want to check this is equal to this value so is a set of true or false then what i am doing is i am introducing double unary to make this one as zero and ones so this array is only for this item it is one for others zero similarly if it changes then only that item will become one the others will become zero so multiply this two this column stock and uh, this one then you sum it up you will automatically get only the alice mutton okay so probably this one also i show you this into this see all others are zero okay when you submit uh, the the whole set you will automatically get only the alice mutton uh, price stock Let's see.
okay if you change this one to long life tofu what happens Eight not one. Whereas this one becomes zero now. Oh, where is the long life tofu? Why it is not become zero? Because the way we shifted the. G10 A2 minus G10 Oh, it becomes G11 Okay, so while shifting we must be very careful So I put uh, G dollar So shifting the formulas you must be very careful Okay so it is uh, 801 so it will become 801 okay so i just put a data validation list box okay data validation data data validation list box the source is nothing but the whole set of products just press ok you can see here the full list Luciano hot spice to okra 398 398 okay so this is the way you can uh, use uh, uh, some product function as uh, we look up okay hope this uh, example is helpful to you to um, know more about some product function in different types in uh, your formulas and work on that to replace the our used tra traditional v lookups or horizontal lookups and so on okay so thanks for watching my video and uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, god bless you